<laughs> and speaking of which, now that we got the racing done, we're going on to the main, main fun ones. Basically, this and the other three are my personal favorites, and I recommend checking them out. But yeah, um, this is Space Harrier. Space Harrier, the original arcade version, released back in 1986. That, during that time, I gotta say, I gotta say, if I was there, then it would be pretty fun. I've actually played the original arcade version, and holy cow, is it fun. You basically got, got yourself fighting against, um, basically, uh, just a bunch of, of alien race, you know. The usual <laughs> but you gotta watch out because there are a whole bunch of obstacles and an enemy variants that come in and try to mess you up and the control who in the arcade version oh man it was it was sensitive basically just moving anything just basically made the made the screen just jilt it was we're just going that direction it was really weird in the in the 3D PS2 version, how however, they definitely stepped it up a bit. I gotta say, I am amazed of how well this game has has been on the PS2. The controls are absolutely fantastic. Gone are the are the stiff controls and and looseness of the controls. Now it's completely free and and easy to get used to. And let me tell you. <laughs> The weapons are great too. You got like a super, uh, a super blaster which, fi which fires a, a, vari a variety of shots. You got, you got the flash bombs which basically, uh, uh, basically can wipe out everything in your path. You got a lock on laser which can lock on to enemies. And let me tell you, holy, I'm glad this is a fantasy game. Because the enemies here are absolutely crazy. You have varieties from like statues and figures to like mutants and like robots. It's very, very intense and crazy. Definitely check out all the enemies because they, they definitely do bring up a fight. Oh, and speaking of enemies, you all need to see the bosses. The bosses are amazing. There's some, there's some fun ones like dragons and, and like super, super statues. <laughs> and there's, there's crazy ones like super like vampire beings and like super intense, um, and creatures. Definitely, <laughs> definitely an update. And the, and the 3D, um, the 3D graphics, man, they hold up pretty well. I'm very impressed of how well they improved. Definitely. Even in, even the backgrounds look look very good. You definitely should check out the graphics on this and compare them to the to the to the original because they're really fun. And oh, man, the O key best part about about this game is the soundtrack. Man, did they update the the soundtrack to a to a huge degree. It's like an intense like rock rock slash um. Flash. Nah, it's basically more rock. Just an intense version of it. It is really... It's really good. It really is. I, I just listen to the soundtrack if you just like like gaming music. Because the soundtrack... <laughs> it's pretty good. It is pretty good. While there is no... Unfortunately, this is only a single player game. And there's no multiplayer. It does come with a variety of things. Well, not a variety of events, but a variety of bosses and a variety of of weapons and and opponents to fight against, which really makes the game fun. <laughs> so yeah, definitely check this game out if you want. If you want a 3D version, it, even even if you're an, a retro fan trying to trying to revisit some classics definitely check out this 3d version it is really really fun but there's just two other games that just matches evenly with it so let's get to the last two games and let's finish this up this review man <laughs> oh now it's time for some real fun because now we got some bonanza bros 
and Bonanza Bros basically is a simple game as well. Basically released in 1989, or or again, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry about that. And it's basically basically a shoot quest, shoot and robin quest game. Basically, you play as two. Um, it's an it's an action game. That's what it is. Basically, you play as um two robbers who have to go and rob the world of its riches. So you go into all kinds of buildings, robbing all kinds of, of riches and items, facing off all against security, all while trying to beat the timer. Now, that might be sound simple, but that's because it is. It's simple, but fun. Basically, you got a stunt gun, and you use the stunt gun to attack, attack uh, all the security in their most vulnerable mo moments. And all the security is different. You have normal ones with sticks, you have others with stunt guns, and some with shields and stunt guns and sticks. And especially the big, the big purple boss, which is actually a boss of, well it's not a boss, but he's a big security guy. But it's actually based off, but he's actually a person that will be based off a boss in another game that's, that will be reviewed in this review, but that's coming up in a minute. Basically, <laughs> you do not want to mess with this guy. He basically throws uh, throws bombs at you, and if you get too close to him, you better watch out. He'll chunk ya. He'll literally uppercut ya. Basically, <laughs> across the room. Okay, well, not across the room, but you know what I mean. Also, there's various uh, ways to avoid security. You can hide in different corners, use different traps, and... <laughs> Even use the doors to basically <laughs> keep keep the keep the security off off your back. <laughs> it's really it's really funny, especially in the doors, because because <laughs> when you squish squish them in the doors, they go blop <laughs> as they're being squished. I don't know why, but I always find that to be funny. Also, I gotta mention in between these um um stages, you get a little bonus stage. Basically, in the bonus stage, you gotta basically collect an amount of 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 money without being caught in the in the in the spotlight. If you get caught in the spotlight, then <laughs> you obviously should know what happens. <laughs> you get captured and you fail. <laughs> but yeah, I also gotta mention the layouts of the maps. All of them are completely different and have very different ways. Sometimes they'll go straight down into other variants and sometimes they'll just go all over the place. You'll never know which types will be. They can be very um random. Another thing you can use to hide against um, officers is parts. Basically you put like a piece of food or or a, a, a robot head or something on your head and basically like I don't know why, but apparently it's enough to make the security not notice that you're there. I don't get it, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you would agree too. And, you know, you definitely gotta, gotta agree with the music. The music is pretty catchy. Very well fits with the, um, with the original version, um, soundtrack. It's basically a remix version, but... Definitely, uh, I gotta say, a little bit more better than than the other one. You gotta say. <laughs> now I also gotta admit, for a 3D version, this is definitely really, really a big improvement. I definitely enjoy all the smoothness in the animation. It's a really, it's a really one to experience. It's also two players where you share the same screen. Basically, one goes on the bottom, and the other goes on the top. So yeah, definitely, definitely, I definitely recommend you play this game because it's really fun. But to end all review, we got one more that takes it all. And here we are, the last one. And honestly, in my opinion, the best one. We got Tan R, Puzzle and Action. Well, Puzzle and Action Tan R, but you know what I mean. Now, Unlike the other games, Tan R is not really much of a of an action or a racing. It's actually the probably the only one which is actually a party game. And that's because it's a mini game collection. There's about 32 mini games in total. 
and they're all completely different. They they range in uh very they can be easy ones from like stopping stopping time and waking chickens and matching up right right um pieces in a in a correct order or to more uh tough ones like the robot factory minigame where you had to assemble the right part to basically um assemble a robot on the on a blueprint with the scattered pieces all over the place. Even some even some tough ones like like a sharpen the pencils which actually require you to use your palm to basically spin the pencil because the only way to spin the pencil is to use the, the analog and that can be very uncomfortable for your thumb I mean for your palm let me tell you I did it before it was it was it was not pleasant I'm gonna tell you that right now and even even in some other ones like the hint minigame where you have to s spot the right um have to spot the right um thing in order to progress and there's even like um counting mini games where you basically just just count the right amount and it's basically some like where's this game it's like basically like, like the ninja and the hat game where it's like you got to find the right person the right place and basically just you know what i mean even has one worse where it's like the ninja but it's basically where it's like a hot guy and a hot chick too so yeah <laughs> It's pretty, pretty, in, pretty intense. I gotta tell you that it's pretty. It can be very fun, <laughs> especially if you have uh, two players. It can be really fun. But however, as you progress onward in the game, the more the more games you complete, the more times you have to complete the game adds. Well, the time to beat them shrinks. You could be literally at the top, and you'll have like very little time to complete these many games. It can be very difficult really really fast so definitely gotta crack down on the mini games if you want to beat them and speaking of speaking of mini games if you don't want to play the story mode there's also a um, um, two-player and four-player free mode which basically allows you to play um, all the mini games in in one allows you to play all the mini games in one big game Basically, um, allows you to play all of the, all of the, all of the not, all of the, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> all of the, the 32 mini games in total with friends and others. It can be really, really fun. <laughs> let me tell you that. It's really fun. And let me tell you, I, I could go on this all, all and all and all, but, you know, we've, we've, we, we've meet, we've made it, um, We've made it quite enough now, so yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna stop. So yeah, <laughs> that's where I'm gonna stop for now. So yeah, overall, I gotta say this collection is definitely one to check out. It's definitely not not the best collection compared to other Sega games, but it's definitely one to check out. If you like arcades and want them in like a 3D update, then uh, then. Then check this out, cause this is this is really a good a good version of that. But if you want more of that, and want the original arcade version, but then you're gonna have to look for for other versions of Sega collections, cause this is more of a 3D version. Again, I honestly think I just wish there were more games to this, cause the usual 10 gets or 11. 10 or 11, it's, it's or one of the two. The, the 10, 11 games can get old really quick. I just wish there were a bit more 3D games that they made. Like compared to like some of the other Sega collections, they have a lot more than than this version. But it's still a pretty good collection, and I definitely would recommend check it out. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for the review. I hope you all enjoyed this review, cause this. This was really, oh, it just brought back so, brought back so many memories to me. Cause this, this is the collection that I grew up with, so it's pretty nostalgic for me to look back on this. And let me know in the comments below if you grew up playing these games. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel. 
don't forget to drop a like on this video and make sure to share it with friends and family. And if you want more of me doing these videos, let me know in the comments below. Give me an idea of what videos I should make, guys. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it. I hope you all enjoyed it. And as always, PGZ36, peace out, and have it rated PGZ36 Pizza Gamers.